YouTube, I finally got the time to actually review Mac OS X line. Now, there's a couple of things I want to go over. I'm not going to go over every 250 plus new features. Now, I'm just going to show you the list of what I'll be going over uh, before you guys want to, before you figure out. So, first I'll be going over gestures, then tweaks, switch control, launchpad, finder, iPhoto, emoji, iMail, browsers, WebKit 2, bugs, flash error, Epson printer, install error. So this thing is a major thing. I should go over it really quickly. When you get the new iMacs or MacBooks or whatever whatever you get, if you have a new all-in-one printer, HP or Epson printer, make sure that you have a computer that is not Mac OS X line that can, so you can install it because the software will not, you know, compute with the new software update. Now HP and Epson is coming out with a firmware update soon, but if you have, if you buy an iMac that has Snow Leopard on it first, then install your software, then upgrade to Lion. So that's a major pr problem that I'm encountering. Now another thing about the flash error. Now when you try to go on sites like TinyChat, it's really hard to even get it to work. Sometimes you can't even get it to work and I couldn't get you know the camera to enable and everything so those are two major issues there's also security issues now there's a lot of security holes and bugs like that I heard been hearing about that and that's pretty much what I go for for that so let's just get to the gestures now say uh, we want to switch between web pages this is the most most useful gestures you can get uh, let's open up my browser Safari so you see I have a lot of windows here for Safari. I'm just going to pick the easiest one. Blah. This is not really a good example. Here's one. Okay. So say I want to go backwards or forwards on this web page. All I have to do is take two fingers and swipe backwards. And I can go to my new page or I want to go back to the previous page. Take two fingers, swipe, and it can slowly do this. So say you're copying some, some information, it's very nice to do. Um, now another really neat thing is called full screen apps. You just go to these two little hours here and you click that and you get the full screen app. Now this is my Google Plus account. Feel free to add me and just to switch between a full screen app and your desktops, which I'm about to go over, you take three fingers and you select to your left or right. So it's going to my empty desktop. Now let's go to Mission Control. Now this is a very new thing. You just swipe three fingers up. It's pretty much if Expose and Spaces had a baby and it shows you your desktops and your full screen apps. You also can add another desktop. I think it goes up to 16 desktops. So let's actually try this out. adding the desktops. I tried this before, I believe it was 16. You can add 16 different desktops, which I would never see how anyone would use that much desktops. Um, let's see, so yeah, 16 desktops you can add. Now, ima now imagine how much space you can, that can be. I mean, this is a 27 inch iMac and it's a huge real estate of screen space. Imagine using 16 of them. I just can't even imagine that. Uh, the most I probably would use would probably be three. I mean, I, I only I only use about two of most of the time. I can't even imagine using 16. Um, now, I also think about the full screen apps. That that doesn't count as a desktop, but if you did, it would support more than 16. Now, to switch between these desktops, all you have to do is take three fingers and swipe backwards or forwards. Now this one right here is not a full a desktop, it's just a full screen. And you just drag your mouse to the top and click those arrows again and it will take you out the full screen app. Now let's go to the dashboard which is slightly to the left. And this is only one side of my dashboard. I actually have two displays and you're only looking at one right now. And these widgets are very nice. I mean, that's a whole totally different topic but there's hundreds of widgets you can get for free. And they're just very useful. Now. For gestures, this is pretty much the same as Mac OS 10.6. You just use your gestures to rotate the picture. Take two fingers, you can still do that. You can still zoom into the photo, you just pinch and pinch and you're done. 
and here's a very neat feature. Uh, this is called Expose. Pretty much you take four fingers down, I believe, and it shows you the applications or the applications that you're using. Also, you can switch between applications. You press Tab and Command, I believe, and then, then you can switch between it. Just press down the tab and switch between your applications. Um, that's still it's still in there. So let's say I want to go to let's say my calendar. So iCal. Now you can see that I am off today and I'm working pretty much every day. But that's pretty neat. Now I also think iCal is pretty much revamped from ground up. You can do it by month, you can do it by weekly. Um, it's really really nice features. Um, to add add a add a new uh, account or not account, to add a new event, it's really easy. You just press this plus button and say I want to see movie at seven. All I gotta do is movie at seven press enter and look how neat it is it starts at seven o'clock I didn't have to type it in very neat now obviously I'm not seeing a movie today but that would be very nice I also can do it by year so all these yellow and orange things is all where all your you know events are happening and you can switch between today or tomorrow very neat animations you can do it by day Pretty much looking at an iPad and iPhone, so iCal is very nice. I use it every single day. I also intertwine it with my Google Notifier. You can, you can add scrolling bars. As you notice, there's no scrolling bars on the new Mac OS X, which I love because they just took up space and it was stupid. There is a way to get it back. I just totally forgot how to do it, and I've been trying to figure it out, and I just really can't find it. But I believe it's somewhere in your settings or any one of these. Uh, options right here. Yeah, I cannot find it, but you can add it. And also, the main feature which sucks with the gestures and scrolling is to go up is down and down is up. The way to change that, you go to your system preferences and you go to your trackpad, you go to uh, scroll and zoom, and you unclick that checkbox. Also, neat thing within this, you go to your more gestures. And it shows you a quick video how to actually do each gesture, which is very nice. And speaking of system preferences, you go to about this Mac, and it tells you, you know, this is the basic stuff. But when you go into more info, it gets really pretty much it gets it, it gets technical. It tells you everything about your display. See, I have two displays here, but the 22 inch right here. Uh, this is a regular built-in one. It can tell you your storage. So I have a terabyte and I have about 719 left. I also have external hard drive which is not plugged in right now but that's also another terabyte. I added some memory so I have 12 gigabytes installed right now. Normally it comes with four. That's pretty nice it tells you. Also about system preferences you can add or delete some of these options right here. So you go to your view and then customize and you can just take off some of these if you don't want to see them and then you click and done. They're still within your system, they're just that they, they take them off if you don't want to view them. And you can always add them back on. So that's a nice feature. Um, I have to go back to my list and see what's next. There's launch pad, you pretty much take your thumb and three fingers and you pinch in and that's how you get it. And it shows an iOS type of interface, kind of like your iPad and iPhone and iPod touch. And you can also make folders just like you can with your iPad and iPod and iPhone and all those iDevices. So you just drag an application and you drop it in there. Either Mac OS X will make a name for it or you can edit it yourself. To actually delete that folder, you just click on the application and drag it out. And there we have it. Now you can also make this admination come really slowly, you click your shift button and you take your thumb and it comes up very slowly. It does this for actually the folders as well. And there you have that. Now that will be Mish Control Launchpad. Mish Control is three fingers swiping up and it's pretty much spacious and expose having a baby and that's really neat because it organizes everything and it shows you what applications are open. You can also, like I said before, add different desktops up to 16, which is ridiculous. 
and it switches between full applications and your dashboard. Uh, next on your list would be Finder. Um, this is very nice. Um, you can you can change the size of it uh, not only on the right bottom corner, but you can do it on your left bottom corner. You can do it on the top left, the top right. Pretty much all Apple applications, you can change it any corner. Also notice that the corners um, are very rounded edges. They're not pointed. I like that. And that's pretty much it for Finder. If you see these tabs here, this is a third uh, third party application. You can't do different folders within the same window um, out of the box. Now let's go to my list again. Um, iPhoto. Um, iPhoto is the same. Uh, the, the newest feature about iPhoto is you can do full screen apps. And you just click those two arrows there and you have a full screen of iPhoto. Um, let's just say <laughs> this photo. Um, I hope YouTube doesn't take the video off for inappropriately, but there's, there's pretty much no nude here. And to exit that, you just press the X button, or you press um, X button, or you take your mouse pointer and you put it right here, and you eject that. Um, let's go to my list again. Emoji. Now this wasn't supported in the last Mac OS 10, but it is now. The way to access this, you have to go to a word processor. So I have Microsoft Word. Okay, so I seem to forget where you find it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's pretty much Emoji. It is supported and it is within Mac OS 10 line. Now with iMail, which pretty much was revamped from the ground up, um, standardly you don't really see this side bar right here. You can hide that and unhide that, but pretty much it's the same. Like your iPod and iPhone. Now it shows you a threaded uh, uh, conversation here which is very nice and you can pretty much link all of your mail, different email clients on here kinda like Outlook, not as great as Outlook but you can view all of your emails within the same application instead of doing it in a different um, browser that's pretty much I mail. I'm not going all the I'm not going for everything within there. But let's go down to our list. Browsers now, like I said, the reason why I put browsers in here is pretty much because you can do full screen things with browsers and you can do the gestures. So take your two fingers and swipe this swipe left to go backwards and swipe right to go forwards. So it's a very nice feature right there. I'm also Pretty much what WebKit 2, when I put that in um, the list, it just loads the page faster, the, the cache is faster, and it, you, you, notice, you can noticeably tell that it loads the page faster. When I say bugs, there are bugs and glitches within the within the software. I mean, I know it's new, and try not to bash Apple, but there's a, there's a bunch of bugs in here. But I'm not going to go over a little, little detail, but you'll, you'll notice some. And the security issues. I haven't really suffered from any, but I heard that there was. And the flash errors telling you about before, about the tiny chat. Uh, if you try to do tiny, tiny chat and you want to enable your webcam, uh, it's really pretty much impossible to enable that. And the printers went over earlier. So that's pretty much my review, or I guess impressions, of my uh, Mac OS X Lion. I don't really think you should upgrade right now. I should. I think you should wait when I actually got all the bugs fixed and when the HP printers and Epson printers and all the ones you know are just compatible because I'm pretty much suffering without a printer right now and I pretty much need it but my favorite part of this whole upgrade is the gestures and this mission control which is very nice and the capability of having 16 different desktops. I mean, that's just, that's just insane. I mean, who would use that much? But I guess, I don't know. I mean, for an insane multitasker, um, it's very nice. I mean, you can say I have all this shit already open and, you know, one, one screen or one desktop is really enough for two. But I hope you guys like my impressions. I mean, I hope I didn't miss much. I pretty much missed, you know, a couple of things. Like iPhoto, I didn't, or photo proof, I'm sorry, photo booth. Let's go over this. Now, there is a full screen orientation, I guess you can call it.
I just realized that I was saying iPhoto in the screen flow. I meant to say photo booth. So I'm going over photo booth right now. That's what I'm looking for, just to make it clear. Um, now the full screen app looks pretty different. Um, there's also different types of effects in here, which is very nice. Uh, I wouldn't really use it, but it could be fun. Um, so I like I like Dizzy. I think it's the funniest animation right here. Uh, it can track it tracks your head. So see how it's tracking me. So it's going down a little bit. Uh, it's tracking me a little bit. So that's pretty nice. Um, you can also switch between uh, actual video or photos. And then the same background effects um, and snow line is still there. Um, so all these features are still here. And distortion is pretty much the same. Uh, so iPhoto is pretty nice. I mean, it can entertain you and your friends for a little bit. Um, that's pretty much what I wanted to go over for a photo booth. I keep calling it iPhoto. Uh, I never use this application, but for friends, it's pretty fun. And hopefully, I went over every single application and features that are major within Mac OS X line. I hope you guys liked. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And peace.